The rare synchronous fireflies in the Great Smoky Mountains attract thousands of people to Elkmont every year. That is, if you're lucky to win a lottery ticket. But the park announced it is canceling this year's viewing event due to COVID-19 concerns. 10 News reporter Jim Matheny explains why the park says that event is just too close for comfort. It's right there. You can call them lightning bugs or fireflies. But the event to see the synchronous species in the Smokies, well, you can call it off. The National Park canceled the popular event as the nation continues to fight the spread of COVID-19. We just could not find any practical way to safely get people to Elkmont. The lightning bugs clearly aren't concerned about the coronavirus. This mating ritual is the last thing they do before they die. But this synchronous spectacle draws a big crowd. So much so, the park had to implement a lottery system to keep the crowd under control and protect the female lightning bugs that stay on the ground from getting trampled. Around 30,000 people put their name in the lottery and 1,800 get a ticket. But even with a smaller group of spectators, the park says there's no way to follow the CDC guidelines for social distancing. Wait in a very long line where they're congested close together, and then we load them onto trolleys in groups of about 30 people. And then we transport them up to the Elkmont viewing area where they line up along a trail that's about a half mile in length, but it's pretty congested all along that trailway. The park doesn't know if the campground at Elkmont will be open during the peak mating display, but campers do add to the congestion during the week-long viewing event. The park thought about setting up a webcam, but this species is not like those big dippers you see flashing in your yard at dusk. The synchronous fireflies are in the dark woods and wait until long after sunset to start flashing, so it is difficult for them to show up on video. The good news is these beaconing beetles exist places outside the national park along with around 20 other species of lightning bugs in East Tennessee. And we encourage people to find a safe place to view them this year that's not going to be in a congested area. And so we'll look forward to being able to offer it again in the future. In Sevier County, Jim Matheny, WBIR 10 News.